My first priority was to find my husband. Before I found his clothes, every time I went to church, I would light a candle for him. But I used to wonder whether I was wrong not to light it down below, where candles are lit for the dead. My husband has been missing for two years. When he disappeared, I lost my identity completely. We had plans for the future. We had built a home together. And in one moment, all of that was destroyed. Now I can't afford to rent an apartment. And I don't know how long I can stay in this hotel room. I am afraid to even think about it. We were all aware that many bodies had been found. But some families didn't want to accept their relatives might be among them. My attitude was, my husband might be alive, he might be dead but I wanted to know the final truth. On the day he went missing, my husband was wearing jeans and a T-shirt. And of course, these days, every person wears the same. But the first moment I saw the things, I recognized them all. Trousers, shirt, underwear, everything was there. There was no doubt, and I had the feeling that he had taken them off two minutes ago. I wanted to touch them. I had a strong need to touch these clothes. In a way, it's good that I found my husband. I think it's a happiness of sorts. The hardest thing would be never to have found him. <laughs>